Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon. I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. Uh, I fell down before we recorded this, so I'm going to seem a little bit off. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so here's the team we got now. As you can see here, Common was kicked from the team, and now Mr. Eat Your Butt has come in at level 33. Uh, something fun about Mr. Eat Your Butt, he does not learn any good move until Slash... That is unfortunate. That okay. is not good news. That is not good news, because I forgot that Pinsir, and also all the TM moves he can learn, not super great either. But he seems to be doing fine just based off a of pure attack. Um, but yeah, here's our current team. This will be our final team. It'll be Mr. Eat Your Butt, Chase, Toast, Jex, me, and Zenrod. And also you can see here you're level 41, and Jex is level 40. And everyone else is just under 30s, and Mr. Eat Your Butt is still training. <laughs> He's on his way. Yeah. So, as promised, we are going to fight Sabrina with Mr. Eat Your Butt. She had a vision of us coming here. Specifically with a person called Her one Mr. weakness. Her one weakness. You seem to be going off pretty easy on this, Sabrina. God, I love this. Right, I forgot she looked like Jessie in this game. She does. She also looks like a lion tamer. I think even though future Sabrina outfits later oh, on... Oh, that's level 50. Yeah, but it's an Abra, so... Yeah, but that means the Alakazam is going to be higher than level 50. Oh, yeah, it is. The Alakazam is going to straight up fuck us over. That's why I trained you and um, Jex. So here's the one thing that Mr. Eat Your Butt does have. It's Bind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so as long as we yes. keep... As long as he's faster than everyone, then nobody can hurt him. Uh, see, this is the part where... He's not faster. No, he's not. He also has a guillotine, which in this game works different from every other game. Also, Is it not a one-hit KO move in this game? No, it's a one-hit KO move, but it's based off of speed, not level. Oh. So as long as you are faster, you have a chance of killing someone. Uh, so Mr. Eat Your Butt could kill the level uh, 50 Alakazam that we are going to fight, but he's not. because he's he will not... never land another blow. That too. This Abra only knows Flash, I think. Because it's an Abra. So Mr. Eat Your Butt's just going to sit here taking a bunch of flashes to the face as he tries to I eat. mean, his accuracy can't go any lower, so, I mean, it can't get worse. The great thing about this battle is that it's basically... <laughs> this Abra keeps flashing him in the face while he tries to seismic toss it up into the air. <laughs> there we go. He finally caught Got the fuck. Um... Got him. That's going to kill. I was going to say, if it did, that'd be very unfortunate. Yeah, that would have really sucked if it didn't. All right, let's see. Now he's, she's gonna go Kadabra. Um, let's go with. I was gonna go with me, but no, that's bad. Yeah, I like the fact that as you're going up here, everyone goes like, "Oh, bugs is our one weakness." By the way, no bug Pokemon has any good bug move. <laughs> the only Pokemon that can beat us is bugs. Also, Jesus, there's none, so we're not worried. Yep. Also, oops, this might be a problem. That is a problem. I was right. <laughs> and this is a Kadabra. Oh, dear. <laughs> but it did matter, because you got the job done. And I now here comes the big problem. I'll say this is the queen problem right here. It's how do we take this fuck down? Uh, the correct answer is put him to sleep with... Be free. And then just use Psychic over and over again and do two damage. You're right. That is the right way of doing it. The problem is, is that this thing is crazy fast. Yes, that's correct. And it knows that. Oh, it heals. The fuck? Yeah, so this, uh... Oh, but it doesn't matter, because apparently Jax is just literally gonna bite the shit out of... Oh, are you really gonna play, like, the worst it has fucking... so many defensive moves. Why is, like... Uh... Okay, so those are, those are its four moves. We've seen them all. No, wait, no. They would use Dex to fend on the first turn. I think I have to switch it up. I'm going to have to use Surf. Uh, because it has so much regular defense that I'm going to have to switch it up to Special. Dear. Alright, Surf. Again, the only reason that this is an issue is that Alakazam has no weakness. Oh, it's going to heal. Oh, it didn't heal. Oh, thank God. And it missed. Sabrina is apparently an extremely Departed. terrible trainer. 
Kind of a lot like Yami Yugi right now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> she had victory in her hands. Oh, and he got <laughs> up by 1992. Beer. I'm shocked. But a loss is a loss. I admit, man, she's just like really down on herself on this one. Mix Pokemon up to level 70, obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. And I guess I think we get... that only applies to traded Pokemon anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's Psy Wave. I wonder if I can learn that. You know, unfortunately, oh, I already have two extremely good Psychic moves. Do I really need a third one? I don't know which is better between Psy Wave and Psy Beam. Mm, I'll look it up later. Whichever one is best suited for me, I will gladly get. And now I figure out, how the fuck do I get out of here? I thought you knew. I do not. God damn it. Uh, well, we're back at Sabrina. See, I tried to... go diagonal, I think. Like, go here? Yeah. Okay, wait, I think and I got it. bottom one. Alright, we're at... Yeah. Oh, God. I fucking hate you, Sabrina's gym. I love Sabrina. Yeah. I don't. I don't like her gym. Look at you surviving with 2 HP. <laughs> and killing the shit out of that guy. Nice. And now we will have to switch out Mr. Eat Butt. You did good. You killed that Abra, eventually. Killed him uh, real good, kid. Yes. So here's a good question. Who do we want to take down uh, Blaine? It's either you or JX. You are the two dudes who will be taken down. And then, no, it'll be you. Because JX is going to have his time in the, sh in the sun against Giovanni. Yeah. Actually, I'm good against Giovanni, too. I know, that's Some what I'm saying, it's, it's either or. Uh, Toast, there we go. Toast has now become our flying machine. And so the game expects Saffron City to be the last place you challenge, even though Blaine is technically next on, he's the seventh gym leader. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. I think I read somewhere that Koga, uh, that Koga... Sabrina and Blaine can be challenged. No, it's no, it's Blaine or Sabrina can be challenged in any order. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No, you can technically challenge Sabrina the second she shows up after you take out Team Rocket, but also if you try and beat if you beat Sabrina first, it may as well just give you the other two. That's true. Yeah, isn't Blaine like weaker? Blaine is, I believe he has level 50s at the same point. His uh, his regular trainers are stronger, but he is at the same level. So all, all his. So Pokemon... I like uh, his gym because you can do just whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter. Yes. Also, I don't I, anyone. This uh, I ended up getting all the test wrongs, just because um, I needed to train just up our the... dudes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I really liked the the idea of this gym. Of if you were paying attention, then. Gym reminds me of the old Pokemon trading card game, uh, Game Boy game. It does. Now that's a fantastic game. It's a great game. We should totally add that to the list. Totally. I actually have um one of the uh, uh I played the, the so I have the English translation for the second game that was never released. And I started that up with Defree and he said that um if you can ever get to the final <laughs> to the final people and get the deck good, you will gladly join it again. So maybe <laughs> we'll just pick up where we left off there and continue. Yeah. And then end that with a... Uh, yeah, I remember that game being kind of hard, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you're gonna fight these Ninetales. Ninetales. How about, fuck you. You can tail whip all you want. I'm going underground. Your furry shit don't work on Zenrot. It hit me. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Too fast. I'm underground. That's right. Zenrot was not affected. You ain't gonna do nothing. I did not like the way that Ninetales was looking at you, by the way. And I am a powerhouse, by the way. You are. You are secretly along with JX the strong. So I was remembering this one. This Pokemon for some reason reminds me of uh, Peg Bundy from uh, uh, from uh, Married with Children. I can't explain why, but she does. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, I flinched. You bastard. And I think this is the strongest Pokemon he has. No, I think he should have a Magmar. This is an Arcanine, doesn't he? I want to say it's Magmar because it's following the anime. Is it Magmar? I could have sworn it was Arcanine, but maybe it is Magmar. Oh, this bastard is trying to weaken you down for the final fight. Trying to prevent our uh, solo Zenrot rush at the, here at the end. <laughs> one Zen run. The one Zen run. It is Arcanine. It is Arcanine. Bastard. All right, then. You're going to have to do your best against this guy. Look at this majestic boy. So many stat debuffs, though. Look at, look at him. <laughs> He's so... Oh, dude, he doesn't even look like he gives a shit. No, he I'm might have just. To die to this. 
You are going to totally die to this. Wow. Okay. It's so, special defense, man. That's true. You're a, you're a regular tank. I don't like the coy look he's giving you either. That was a total like, hmm, yeah, I just burned him. Just shot fire at him. And I was gonna try and burn Jax, but it's not. Wow, it is gonna kind of work. This is a. <laughs> that was a lot of damage, actually. That was insane amounts of damage. Consider, I guess there's a level difference, right? Wow, then that was a crit. Yeah, a considerable level difference. Oh, he healed him. Oh, never mind. This is before healing. He used the on... super potion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is before uh, gym leaders got good at healing their Pokemon. And Jack steals the glory. Oh, but I loved his gym in um the remake, the Pokemon Let's Go. Now that was great. The... I don't remember. Oh, it was the game show, right? Yeah, it was a game show. So it was a lot of fun. Oh, I have to make room for your goddamn gift, really? Do I have to? All right, let's see. It'll be good on toast, isn't it? Fire blast. It might be fire blast. Do I need I'm these? Fairly sure it's fire blast. Do I fucking need most of these TMs? What even is this? What TM are you? Oh, it's Blizzard. Well, no one's gonna learn Blizzard, but nah, I don't know. We just get rid of the secret key. We already did the thing we need to do with it. It's true. I'm actually just... can toast learn solar beam. That's a good that would be pretty good to have, I think. The problem is, is that Toast has two HM moves, and he can't. I can, <laughs> apparently. Uh, you should probably learn that then. All right. Oh. This will be our only grass move. Okay, I have to be very careful about this because Psychic is the first one up. Okay. Psychic, Sleep Powder, Harden, or Psybeam. I mean, Harden. the answer is Harden, but I also feel my Wombo combo is using so, Sleep yeah, Powder. Do you need two Psychic moves, really? I mean, yeah, fair enough. Psychic is really the only one I use. I have learned one Psybeam, but in response, I have learned Solar Beam. So I am just that little bit stronger. Alright, Blaine, give me my shit. Don't give me the whole spiel again. Just give me the goddamn HM. Thank you. M38 Fire Blast. Shove that right onto Toast. Uh, what are moves that are useful? It, I mean, it will replace Ember, but what happens when he tries to learn Flamethrower? We put it over... What else does he have? The other move he oh, has... Oh, right, is... he has two moves. Yeah. And it's... we'll just get rid of Fire Blast for Flamethrower, because Flamethrower is objectively better. All right, fair enough. May as well have it for now. Otherwise, we're just never going to use it. Okay. Yes, I will teach Fire Blast to your toast. It'd be hilarious if I could also learn Fire Blast. <laughs> I don't have to worry here because his first move is an HM. I wish to God I could remove fucking cut. Yeah, that's the uh, the downside to this gen. Yeah, definitely. Especially because uh, there's no move deleter. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. We did it. We beat two gym leaders. It's pretty good. Pretty quick good. and easy. It's super quick and easy when you do a time skip and I do everything off screen. Yeah. I skipped the part where I was in this fucking place fighting a bunch of thieves, learning about the fact that there's a South America in Pokemon. That was the craziest thing. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, in the, the Pokemon mansion. Yeah, there's a South America. That's where Mew came from. Which would explain some of Mew's weirdly so racist views. On his eyelash. Alright then. Alright. We are all healed up and we're going to be ready to take on the mysterious 8th gym leader. Next time. See y'all later. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs>